Let's study 9th standard ICAC chemistry chapter 8 atmospheric pollution from the textbook Virat Dalal. First mark the definition atmospheric pollution conditions of air made unclean due to the introduction of foreign elements from natural or man-made sources to the air so as to cause adverse effects on living organisms on earth. Examples of natural sources and man-made sources are common knowledge. You can cancel this. The atmospheric pollutants result in three problems, which we'll study in detail in this chapter. Acid rain, where oxides of sulfur and nitrogen gets mixed with the moisture and the precipitation comes down, which is far more acidic than usual, which can negatively impact soil chemistry and aquatic life. Global warming. To some extent, the greenhouse effect is good for our survival, but too much of it causes global warming. And that's because of some greenhouse gases listed here. Ozone destruction is mainly caused because of methane and chlorofluorocarbons. Although now, ozone destruction has stopped because CFCs have been banned. Let's understand the causes of acid rain. We have a definition here. And the pollutants responsible are SO2 and NO2 primarily. These are released by natural sources like these and man-made sources like industries, automobile exhausts, etc. So when they dissolve in water, they form sulfuric and nitric acids respectively, although sulfurous and nitrous acids are also formed, but they were, those are unstable acids. And acid rain doesn't necessarily mean rain only, it could be any kind of precipitate like snow, fog. Oxides of sulfur dioxide, how is it produced? Burning of fossil fuels. When you burn it, sulfur dioxide is released, which, which is an oxide of sulfur. Example of fossil fuels, coal, petroleum and natural gas. Reaction, sulfur in them, combines with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide. We have other sources as well, but not important, cancel them. Oxides of nitrogen, which can be nitrogen monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, etc. First of all, it is produced in furnaces and internal combustion engines or vehicles, where the nitrogen combines with oxygen at a very high temperature. It's necessary to mention this, above the arrow or here, to form nitrogen monoxide. And this will further react with oxygen in the air to form nitrogen dioxide which is a reddish brown gas. Natural rainwater itself is a little acidic. pH is uh, around 5.6, which is quite normal. That's because carbon dioxide dissolves in it to form carbonic acid, although it's a weak acid and unstable acid, so it should be a reversible reaction here. The pH scale is a scale in which, uh, which can be used to measure the acidity of some substance. The lower the pH, the more acidic it is. Pure water, pH is 7, which is absolutely neutral. Above 7, it would be alkaline or basic. Natural rainwater is 5.6, acid rain is below 5.6, up to 3.5, and below 3.5, that's very dangerous. Composition of acid rain. Well, as I said, it has these acids because of the gases released. We can list four acids here, one, two, three, four. Carbonic acid was already present in every rain, not just acid rain. So the reaction is sulfur reacts with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide, sulfur from the coal or something. It will dissolve in water to form sulfurous acid. Sometimes it gets oxidized further to form sulfur trioxide, which dissolves in water to form sulfuric acid. Sometimes sulfur dioxide dissolves in water along with oxygen to form sulfur, sulfuric acid directly. So sulfur trioxide is the acid anhydride of sulfuric acid, meaning sulfuric acid minus water gives you sulfur trioxide. So now can you tell me what is the acid anhydride of sulfurous acid? Well, the answer is SO2. And what is the acid anhydride of nitric acid? It will be NO2. This is just extra information. Now let's talk about nitric acid formation. As we've learned in furnaces and in internal combustion engines, at a very high temperature, around 3000 degrees Celsius, nitrogen monoxide is formed, which can get further oxidized to form nitrogen dioxide, and that dissolves in water to form nitrous and nitric acids. Cancel this, as well as this. Now what is the impact of acid rain? First of all, soil chemistry. First bullet, it causes nutrient leaching. That is, all the nutrients are lost if there is an acid rain, because the acids will react with the salts of sodium and calcium and convert it into a form which is not so useful. The acidity will fall down and that may impact life in the soil because the crops that we grow or the insects which live in the soil, they are adapted to a particular pH. So if the pH decreases, it becomes more acidic, they may not be able to survive. Even the soil fertility is reduced, so cancel this point. Or you may choose not to cancel, just mark it as read, which means in the test I won't ask it, but ultimately whatever a school teacher asks you to study, you should. So if your teacher says don't cancel anything, don't, learn everything, all the best. Water bodies. Well, it affects marine organisms, that is the same as saying that most aquatic animals cannot survive when pH is less than 4. 
general impact of acid rain. Plants are harmed by acid rain, even humans are harmed. There is even a material damage. That is, if acid rain falls on marble structures like the Taj Mahal or metal gates, iron gates, they will all get corroded because of acid rain. How to control acid rain? Start using alternative fuels like solar energy, wind energy or CNG, compressed natural gas. And also use catalytic converters in your automobiles which will reduce the polluting gases coming out of the exhaust. We can also use electrostatic precipitators to reduce air pollution. Now let's talk about the greenhouse effect. Solar radiations have UV light which are blocked by the ozone layer thankfully because otherwise they could cause skin cancer and skin rashes. Even infrared radiations are released which are of short wavelength. They pass through the atmosphere and are absorbed by the earth. At night, Earth releases the heat, that is infrared rays, but this time they release it in a long wavelength form, which do not escape entirely into space. Some of them are trapped because of the greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane, which causes some warming. And this is the greenhouse effect, which is good because without it, Earth's temperature would be so low that life as we know it wouldn't be able to exist. But now that more and more CO2 is being released and more and more greenhouse effect is happening, the temperature is rising so much that it can endanger our survival. That is called global warming. Greenhouse gases are those gases that contribute effectively in retaining heat in the atmosphere. Examples are given, learn all the examples. Mark the definition of greenhouse effect and of global warming, but add something here. The excess greenhouse effect due to greenhouse gases results in rise in atmospheric temperature, which is not confined to one region, but has a global impact. And hence it is called global warming. This is cancelled. In the presence of greenhouse gases, what exactly happens, I just explained the mechanism, this is the mechanism. Highlight long wavelength radiations and mark it as IR. IR doesn't mean irrelevant, it means infrared. This is also cancelled. Sources, carbon dioxide are released by respiration. So if you want to reduce global warming, you have to reduce your respiration. Stop it altogether if you wish to. Or not, don't do that. Let's try some other methods. Natural degradation of plants and animals, we can't help it. They will die and they will be decomposed and when they are decomposed, CO2 is released. Cancel these equations. Cancel this pie chart. Methane, bacterial decay again. Natural gas also has it. Man-made sources, well, agricultural activities like growing rice releases methane. So we should change our agricultural practices. Even gas drilling, coal mining, etc. releases methane. And even cows, belches and farts releases methane. Although that should be a natural source. But then it means that we should stop uh, cow, animal husbandry. We need to rethink about dairy products. Go vegan, I say. Oxides of nitrogen. They are released due to agricultural activities because fertilizers have nitrogenous compounds. Even automobile exhausts and burning of biomass like wood, cow dung, etc. releases oxides of nitrogen. Anaerobic respiration by some microbes also releases them. Water vapor. Well, even that's a greenhouse effect, surprisingly. That we can't help, transpiration, evaporation will happen. But they are also given out by ACs, aerosols, etc. No, that's for chlorofluorocarbons actually. Aerosols had chlorofluorocarbons, but nowadays it's banned to be used. So we use some, something else, which does not cause ozone destruction or greenhouse effect. Impact of greenhouse gases. Geographic impact is that there will be coastal flooding and erosion everywhere. Imagine that in the next 50 years, your city or the location where you stay will be drowned in water. So you better... Start preparing for that. I suggest get a flat in uh, some high-rise areas like um, Malabar Hill. Climatic effect. Some regions will get more rainfall and some regions will get less rainfall. Ecosystem will be disturbed. Extinction of species might happen. Agriculture will be affected. So farmers will have to migrate to other areas. Even the life cycle of trees will have to adapt. Otherwise they will perish. Ways of reducing greenhouse gases. Use different fuels like LPG and LNG and CNG, learn the full forms, they are better than petrol. Use other forms of energy, that's the best, solar energy, wind energy, hydropower, hydro energy, biofuels, biogas. Let us all take a pledge that the first car we'll purchase will be an electric car, prefer preferably Tesla. Have you taken the pledge? See, these are all non-polluting and non, -re they are renewable rather, that is, they will never be exhausted. Biofuels, where diesel and oil are mixed with alcohol and other stuff. Biogas is a fuel generated by organic compounds through biological and chemical processes. Organic compounds right in bracket biomass. So we also call it cobra gas in India because most of the biomass we use to, in biogas plants is cow dung. Sometimes even bullshit. 
other ways of reducing greenhouse gases? Well, plant more trees because trees absorb carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. Cancel all this. And make eco-friendly policies and implement them. Let's talk about ozone gas. It's O3. It's an allotrope of oxygen. It's quite toxic. It's poisonous. If we breathe it, we can die. However, the layer of ozone in the stratosphere is very important to block away 99% of high-frequency UV rays, which are very dangerous for us. It's in the stratosphere. Cancel all of this. All of this cancelled. How is ozone formed? Well, when UV rays fall on oxygen, then ozone is created. And it's surprising that ozone will block UV light itself. So he's, going, he's rebelling against his own creator. And this process of splitting of oxygen is called photolysis. Cancel all of this. Function of ozone layer. Well, as I said, it blocks harmful UV rays and protects human, animal, plant life and even microbes on Earth. Cancel all of this. The damage that UV can cause is sunburns, skin cancer, cataract, eye damage, early aging of the skin, weakening of immune system. And in plants, it retards plant growth. Everything else cancelled. So if ozone layer is depleted because of excessive use of uh, CFCs and methane, then the incidence of, sh of skin cancer will increase, which happened a few decades ago. So we had a Montreal protocol where all the countries came together and banned CFC usage, which was the right decision. And today we can see the ozone healing. What are the chemicals responsible for it? Chlorofluorocarbons, of course. But apart from that, we also have uh, nitrogen and methane compounds. They are released by jet activity. So I... I recommend that when you become a billionaire, don't have a private jet. Just travel normally to save the planet. Even fertilizers and chemicals may release these gases. Learn the names of the gases in the full forms. This is cancelled. This is cancelled. Remember, ozone is broken down by CFCs. Prevention. Don't use CFCs. Use something else. Hi, students. This is AJ, sir. If you like this video, press the like button. If you would like to enroll for my online test series or online lectures, email me or message me on Instagram. Check the description for more information.